Lord. Hmm. Hey, Lord. Yes. Hey, Lord. What? Well, I, I, I was wondering if you still have one of those little chocolate eggs. No, sorry. They're all gone. Just now. But I wanted one. This means war. Mr. Torsen, I also have an axe. So let's fight for glory. Ha, for honor. For victory. <laughs> Wait. Hang on. I was supposed to talk about victory today. Sigurdblot, why didn't you tell me? Well, because I don't care. Guys. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> what, sir? <laughs> why didn't you warn me? I was supposed to talk about Sigurdblot today. Be because you pay us in candy, sir. And since there is no more candy, well, <laughs> we didn't warn you, sir. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Hello friends, my name is Ari Herger and today I'm going to talk about Sigurdblot, the victory blessing. This is the last video about the vernal equinox and the European pagan celebrations held during this time. And you can check the other videos about this subject. Now, let's get started. Alright, during the vernal equinox, the beginning of spring, there are certain celebrations held during this time. One of those is a Northern European celebration called Sigrablot, the Victory Blessing. More or less like Ostara, but more turned to victory and linked to times of conflict. Winter is slowly waning away and the rebirth of nature brings back the natural beauty of the world. And we can see this in the blossoming of flowers and the singing of birds and the returning of certain animals from hibernation. And just like those animals who have found shelter during winter and gathered their provisions to survive the cold, harsh winter and are now ready to embrace the coming of spring, we too, humans, are ready for the powers and the warmth of the sun and the soft northern breeze that whispers gentle words to soothe our hearts. Very poetic. In pagan antiquity, people used to celebrate all these feelings and all these natural happenings through festivities linked to the rebirth of nature and the coming or the returning of the sun and the beginning of the new year, the harvest cycle and the return of life itself into the world. But in Northern Europe there was a celebration held during this time during the vernal equinox and it was called Sigrablot, the victory blessing. So in Scandinavia there used to be this celebration to the god Odin, Sigrablot. Sigr means a victory, so this was a celebration to call for victory. In times of raiding, long journeys, in times of war and great conflicts and during one's endeavors. Well, this seems a little bit contradictory. How can this be the time to celebrate the rebirth of nature and life itself and also the time for war and to do battle? Well, these two aspects are connected. You see, before the, the industrial revolution and the coming of electronics, war was done during the months of spring and summer for obvious reasons. Uh, during winter, uh, armies couldn't be fed, so there will be a lot of starvation. And people during winter will be at home, uh, taking shelter and consuming all of the resources they have been gathering the entire year. So during spring and summer was the time for war, because the armies would feed themselves on the fruits and on the crops of the people they were fighting with and by pillaging those same people. And war was done during a constant weather and not during that harsh madness of winter. In a spiritual and a very personal perspective, the rebirth of nature and the time for conflict are connected. Because there will always be battles we must fight during our lifetime, always problems we must face and occasionally we will fall into deep sorrow. But there will be a rebirth of the spirit when victory is conquered. 
we will grow as individuals and we will grow spiritually when victory and glory are earned. So we all need the courage to face the battles that life throws at us. So Sigur, uh, victory is a spiritual quality and in the northern traditional paganism and possibly in a lot of other pre-Christian beliefs we accept the natural world as it is. We look all around with eyes of joy and caring and with open minds to learn from what the natural world has to teach us. And we all want to achieve greatness, we want to achieve victory and balance and we see this in the natural world. For instance, spring conquering winter, life conquering death, order conquering chaos. So there is a certain balance in here. And there is also beauty in the human experience, what we experience with other humans and what we experience with the natural world and this knowledge we share. So, in other words, we, unlike other spiritual practices, our other spiritual paths, we do not seek to live our lives after death. We do not seek to live our lives on another place. Uh, we like it in here. We like the natural world and we have a lot to learn from it. So Sigurdblot is not just to celebrate victory and inner conflict or the rebirth of nature. This is also a celebration, a festivity, to celebrate life itself, our lives, while we live in this world, while we experience life itself and the gathering of knowledge. As we accept the world as it is, we also accept joy and life and what makes life even better victory. To succeed, we all need to attain success in our works, in our studies, in our social lives, in our love lives. And this is the true essence of Sigurdblot, to accept, to embrace life and success. Sigur, victory, or the essence of victory, it affirms what we are as single individuals. It affirms our own existence and it validates our lives and our experiences. So what is the source of this victory? How does it come to us? Sigr, victory once again, is connected to the god Odin and we can see this in one of his names, Sigrfather, the father of victory. But Sigr is also connected to the rune Tiwas, which is the rune connected with the god Thir the god of war, the god of justice, but most important of all, the god of assemble and gather. In terms of assembling people to confront, discuss and resolve certain disputes. So there is a certain uh, victory here, the victory of the mind, the victory of the, the power and the might of the spirit. Because with a strong mind and a strong will, we are able to confront life and face all the problems that life has to give us. And by doing so, we achieve victory and happiness. Segre is a useful tool which aids us in our personal evolution. It helps us to grow. And the more victories we have, the better we can save our life, the better we can enjoy it. And the victory of the spirit comforts us, and so we become more attached to life. There shouldn't be a refusal to enjoy victory. There shouldn't be a withholding of good emotions. That is why we should honor and we should celebrate victory. Because we cannot deny our personal growth. We cannot deny our evolution as human beings. So in this way, Sigurdblot is connected, is linked to spring because there is an affirmation of life, an affirmation of joy and the rebirth of ourselves by accepting life. In the Hingling Saga, 
it is declared that Sigravlot is the one of the most important and major festivities of the year. It is a celebration dedicated to Odin, the giver of victory, Sigthir. And this is a celebration to, as I've said, to life, to joy, to victory and the appreciation of the warrior spirit in terms of facing all the battles, all the problems that life has to give us. During this time, people worshipped Odin for luck, good fortune and to aid in the defense against an attack or to help conquering an enemy. As I have said before, we can bring this thought into our own lives because all of us have our own enemies, our battles, our problems and we all need luck, good fortune but most of all we need courage to face all these problems, all these hazards, all these difficulties that life throws at us. And so, by achieving victory, if we stay strong, if we have a strong mind and a strong will, but we achieve victory and in this manner we grow as individuals and we have a spiritual growth which helps us to achieve happiness and peace. Alright friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video and whatever it is you are celebrating during this season, just keep in mind that you must celebrate life. That is the most important thing to be celebrated. All the links to my social media are down below at the description. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video and fuck for it all.